I'm Matt Bichard with REIT.com here in La Quinta, California for REITWISE 2013, NARIT's Law, Accounting, and Finance Conference. I'm joined by Sean Tully, Managing Director of Interest Rate Products with the CME Group. Sean, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Matt. Now, can you tell us a little bit about the role of CME as a central clearinghouse and how it serves REITs and other U.S. companies? Sure, absolutely. Uh, CME offers a best-in-class clearing offering for our customers. Um, you know, we, uh, we built our service with equal input from both the buy side and the sell side. We're highly, highly customer focused. We offer a wide range of products. We clear commodity products, interest rate products, credit products, and foreign exchange products. We've got very deep capabilities in terms of our interest rate offering. We offer swaps, clearing swaps against one month LIBOR, three month LIBOR, six month LIBOR all the way out to 51 years. We offer uh, OAS, or overnight index swaps, uh, out to five years. Uh, we offer zero coupon swaps. We offer almost any day count convention uh, that, that uh, the marketplace is looking for, customized dates, customized amounts, customized coupons. Um, so so a, a very customer-focused uh, offering. Um, we also offer real-time clearing. <clears throat> Most of the trades are, are cleared within about three or four seconds from the time that they're submitted to, to, our, uh, to our clearinghouse. And, and how does the incorporation of the central clearinghouse work to control systemic and counterparty risk? It creates a huge advantage for the customers. It creates a huge advantage for what we would typically call the buy side. Um, it, it basically, it levels the playing field and it eliminates what we saw through the crisis was incredibly important, counterpart credit risk. So, so um, essentially in place, of what was previously a credit risk that you had to your counterparty, um, you now have variation margin and initial margin. So those are the backbone of the safety um, that's created uh, in, in the new marketplace. In addition to that, we've got a guarantee fund, which includes a contribution of CME's own capital um, to, help, to help protect the marketplace. And I understand that the asset managers have been among the early adopters of the new CME interest rate swap futures. Now, do you see applications for this to real estate financing, perhaps other sectors, and, and what's been the market response? A lot of asset managers you know, were proactive and they started clearing their interest rate swaps early because of the convenience, because they felt it was their fiduciary responsibility to eliminate uh, the costs of counterpart credit risk, to eliminate the costs if a counterparty goes bust. So we've seen huge adoption from asset managers. Um, you know, the asset managers, uh, for the most part, are not required to clear yet under Dodd-Frank. Um, for most of them, they're not going to be required to clear until June. Uh, but we already see a lot of them, you know, again, we, we've already cleared um, around $2 trillion worth of swaps, and we have about a trillion of open interest. A lot of that is from hedge funds and asset managers, banks, mortgage servicers, um, lots of different parties. In terms of the deliverable swap futures, we, offered, we started offering the deliverable swap futures in, uh, in December. Um, exciting new product. Um, the, the, what's the value proposition? What is it? Um, it's, uh, we basically, we offer a, a two-year, a five-year, a 10-year, and a 30-year standardized swaps. So if you want to do an OTC swap and you want to clear it through CME, we can customize that in any way you'd like. But if you'd like to do instead a standardized transaction, um, and standardized transactions, the benefits are, you know, sometimes you have deeper liquidity. And sometimes, since it's standardized, you get more competitive pricing in terms of the execution. But, but a big part of it also is with standardization, um, if you had a counterpart, you know, to the extent that we have counterparts that, that only trade standardized swaps, their margin requirements are going to be much lower. And the margin requirements are much lower than in customized swap book because the default management is shorter and easier. And, and what about mortgage rates? Do you see application in the new interest rate swap future for mortgage rates? Yeah, you know, it's going to be a huge wave of folks that are going to be required to clear in June. So we strongly suggest that people, you know, start testing now uh, before before the June date. In terms of the deliverable swap futures, um, there are a number of mortgage REITs, you know, that are looking at futures. You know, in the old world where the REITs did not uh, have to clear their interest rate swaps, they didn't have to worry about initial margins. Now they were exposed to a lot of credit risk. I'm not so sure. Um, I think a lot of folks were probably surprised. Um, by the financial crisis and probably woke a lot of people up relative to the amount of credit risk that people were taking on swaps. You know, so, so we've all woken up to that together. Um, so, so initial margins, as I said, are the new cost and they get rid of the counterpart credit risk, so that's the good news. The bad news is you've got these new initial margins. For the deliverable swap futures, for the, the reasons I mentioned, it has half the margin requirement of, of uh, OTC interest rate swaps. So to the extent that you can, the REITs, um, you know, can manage their risk with a more standardized product, 
um, it's a perfect fit. They can get you know complete transparency, tight pricing, great liquidity, um, great interest rate risk management at a very low capital cost. Sean, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Matt. For more on this and other REIT news and analysis, be sure to visit REIT.com.